Today, we are talking a new play built to beat Cover 4, 3 match, and man, coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. For those of you that subscribe to the channel that have been with us from the start, sorry I've been gone for a while, had to have some body work done, 11 years playing professional football and Several of those in the Arena League will do that to you. But I am back. It is football season. I've got new stuff for you, including this play today. We are going to diagram. We're going to look at and break down a great new play. Maybe my favorite piece of offense for right now. Much like children, I know you're not supposed to have a favorite piece. But I like this one right now because it beats three match. It beats cover four and it beats zero. A lot of those teams nowadays like to play that three match look. Spin down. Thank you, Nick Saban. Or cover four. Thank you, Gary Patterson. But this play beats them both, and it takes advantage of the rules within four and three match. And so I think you're going to like it a lot. Don't forget, subscribe, click that button down below, give us a thumbs up, leave me a comment, because we would love to hear from you as well. Now let's take a look at this new play. What I love about this play is it uses the rules of three match to beat three match. You can see you've got lockdown back here. You've got your defender who is going to carry this vertical route because in three match these guys turn into cover one players man to man on any inside player coming at them and so single high safety corner on the outside inside leverage and they're ready to play it a lot of teams like to attack this with four verts and so linebackers are looking right now to wall and keep that inside number three receiver from getting vertical through the formation what you're going to get here is a go route on the outside a vertical route by number two and then number three who is actually tight end here in this personnel group is going to widen and then bust off the corner route so it's really just a sail concept but instead of running sail with a single vert and so you'd get a three level flood you're getting sail with two verts take advantage of what three match is supposed to do running back on the swing to the outside also holding any flat defender that might be left over in case they decide to drop that nickel sam off to cover the flat he's there as well and so what this does is it puts a ton of stress on your nickel sam because he is supposed to by rule cover that vertical route so he's riding it through so that you can't throw four verts against three match Outside corner has to play man to the go route. And then the next guy, this Mike linebacker, is looking to wall number three. So he's looking to wall this to keep it from going this way. But he's already playing with the leverage that you're that he's giving you now because you want to go on that corner route. And so the safety over the top has to play as deep as the deepest player. Well, that's going to be this inside vertical seam. And that leaves... This tight end, in this case, you could use a fleeter receiver. You could use you know, your speed package if you want to. But it leaves him uncovered with any defense for him coming from inside out. The smart play here is to also put your best receiver on the backside. Because if they decide they want to play that dreaded solo coverage, where they'd roll him over to a cover two guy, roll him up to kind of that backside help here, what you get is a single matchup here. Now, he's going to have to help on this side and with number three coming across, so he would take away your verts. But even if they run solo, he comes over here, his read is going to be two to one. So as two gets vertical, he's going to jump on this. As he looks for number three coming across, he's also not going to get it because it's already cleared. And so this back swing will now pull that through. So no matter what they try to do here, it wins. Okay, so that was a lot of concepts, a lot of words coming at you all at once. And some of you guys are like, I love it. Give me more. Awesome. I'm about to. We're going to look at cover four in just a second. Some of you are like, what is three match and what the hell does solo mean? For you guys, I have a video about three match right here. You can go there, check it out, learn about what three match is. A bunch of teams are playing it now, pro, college, and in high school uh, because it all kind of trickles down. But learn about three match, learn how to beat it within the concepts. I also have a video about cover four that you can go to and check out there as well. The more you know about a coverage and the more you understand what the rules of that coverage are, 
the easier it is to beat that coverage when you see them. And since we're here, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe down below, click that like button, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If you guys have any questions about coverages, concepts, plays, all of that, we've had a ton of great questions. I'm going to answer a couple of those coming up here pretty soon. But please leave us a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. We can start generating more content, especially the stuff that you guys want to see. Now, let's get back to it and see how the same exact concept beats cover four. Same idea with cover four. If this safety comes over and he's playing the vertical and this safety comes over, he's also looking for that backside route to come to him. Now, when you bust that corner, you're clean to go. So let's take a look. Let's watch how it works out. As they get vertical, you can see everything dropping off and it leaves that backer in an absolute bind. Because that nickel Sam or strong safety, whichever you want to call him in this case, this guy has to get through the vert. He's carrying this man to man. Now with the go route coming, this corner has to take his deep third, play it outside, try to press to the field. They don't expect you to throw that, but you can't let somebody get behind you. And then that leaves this linebacker to cover all of that space, the high, low, and that two on one. So that is tough duty for a linebacker to cover. You watch it in slow motion. And there is nobody left here. Backside player was waiting for that third vertical to come to him, but it didn't because it went to the flat, or went, excuse me, went to the corner. This backer is in space all by himself. Quarterback here can go either direction. If he throws this, he's got big yardage. He chooses this route because it's the deeper route, and it's probably his first in his progression. But right now you can see two wide open guys on the high low of empty space with a linebacker trying to cover out there. That is a winner for me. Love that play, love the sale concept, and I love it when you're using rules from coverages against those coverages to beat them. I just love kind of figuring out the jigsaw puzzle of the game. If you like that, make sure you subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, uh, and leave us a comment because we would love to hear from you as well. You can always check out what we do, EliteAthletesTV.com. If you are a young quarterback and you're looking to improve your passing mechanics, or if you're a coach, you coach young quarterbacks, I have the Perfect Passing Mechanics Playbook on our website under courses there on the front page. You should go there, check it out. We'll give you a free video uh, on fixing your grip as a quarterback just for going there. Appreciate you guys watching today. Again, love, great offense. I'll keep bringing you more. Uh, and until next time, I'm Mike Pulaski for Elite Athletes TV. Appreciate you watching. Beat three match, beat cover four with this one concept.